So today, I show here sent us a six by six closure and some bundles, but we're going to focus on the closure today because we are going to customize it. So we're going to bleach it and we're going to pluck it to the gods, honey. But that is the closure. It came with baby hair. I don't really think that it was pre-plucked or anything, but we're going to take care of that. So we're going to start off with our 30 volume developer and I had some bleach and they're both from Clearall. And we're just going to make our solution so we can bleach these knots, okay? So, as I say that you want your solution to be thick, you don't want it runny. Therefore, it won't seep through the lace and hit the roots of the hair versus just the knots. Because once you put it on to the lace, it swells up, guys. So, when you are plastering it on like that, you don't even want to push down on it, like pushing it through, making sure it hit. You just really want to lay it on top, make sure there's no gaps in between, and that it is just evenly spread it throughout the frontal because as it sits there for 20, 30 minutes, it's going to expand. So it's going to hit them knots, trust and believe. But if you push down on it and it is too runny, it's going to seep through, and then it is going to bleach the roots as well. And y'all know the last video I had to fix it with the hairspray. But it's, it's just a small fix, so we're not even letting that bother us. But yeah, at this point I am just bleaching knots. So we will check back in on it. You always want to go in and check your progress. So you may not need a whole 20 minutes. You may not need a whole 30. You may not need a whole 10. Just go in and kind of check and see how it's looking. Okay, so part through it. It's looking good to me. It's not coming through onto the hair at all. So that was perfect, but it did sit for 20 minutes. Then I rinsed it out with the shimmer lights, the purple shampoo to get rid of any yellowness, the breastiness, as they would say. And then we're gonna go ahead and proceed to plucking, but I did wanna kinda of show you guys how it's looking with these parts, honey, with this six by six closure. How do y'all feel about this closure, guys? Cause I am loving it. Like, you really don't even have to go frontal no more. If they keep coming along with this, you know? I have even heard that they have a seven by seven one. So it's like extra space. You can definitely disguise it to look like a frontal and it's just better to work with, you know? them parts look good it did not seep through guys last time i kind of over bleached my frontal because um i was doing makeup too so i was trying to do everything in one video and i was being a little extra but let's get into that part honey you have so much part in space so now we're going to get to plucking and those tweezers is really good i love them but you want to hold your lace down totally you see that line is defined we want to get that out of there that's what we're going in to attack and um you want a really good pair of tweezers those ones are like sturdy and they made for men so it was like perfect okay and as i went in and made the process quicker and everything it just grabbed the hairs that i needed to be grabbed it was like very very sturdy so i picked them up from walmart um in the main section but i'm going in guys and i'm not parting out my edge okay i am just going in attacking that line that's there okay so I'm raking that hair back with the tweezers. You know, you don't want to keep always stopping and uh, combing. But you go in, pinch, yank. In, pinch, yank. Okay, so don't just go in because then you ain't going to be getting the hairs out. You're just going to be breaking the hairs off from the uh, root. But it won't actually be snatching the knot out. And um, pretty much I'm going in 
I am pinching and yanking, pinching and yanking. You want to do a piece at a time, okay? So if you're going to start on the left side, the right side, the middle, however, you work in that one section, okay, until you start seeing the results that you are looking for. When they say over pluck, okay, so over plucking could happen if you're not actually paying attention to your sections. If you're not actually combing it out and seeing how it looks after those couple of plucks first. So, boom, I went in just and did about four or five plucks real quick. And then I brushed it to see. I see that little difference there, and I like that. So, I'm going to proceed down and get that defined line to look like above it. So, sections by sections, very small sections, okay? Especially on the beginner side. Don't just go in for the kill, okay? (laughs) Do not go in for the kill, and do not actually go to the front of the hairline either you see i'm only really at that line that's behind the hairline okay the hairline is already thinned out because they had those baby hairs remember separated so that's already pretty much looking good we're just trying to make it look exactly like that you know on the cute side thinned out so it could look more gradiently thin than thin to thick okay so I kind of went in on this pluckage, guys, because I really wanted to get a very natural install. So, I am just going in behind those hairs, going up to where that line is. Pluck, 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 pluck. Okay, so you want to make sure you grip that hair and then pull. Take your time. Look at exactly what you're gripping. Grip it snatch it get it out of there okay make sure you go in and comb it after each time though that's very important because that is going to show you exactly what you're doing okay that's going to help you not to get the bald spots and help you uh not to make it too thin that you can't even cover it up the uh, lace and you know make it look realistic so we got a long journey ahead guys we have to go along the whole hairline but it's only a six by six closure and we're not letting that bother us because it's not like it's a whole 13 by you know six but anywho this hair was gorgeous guys like it was like very sleeky and oh my god it was it was good i just can't wait to straighten it and see what it's actually hitting for it i'm going to install it in my daughter's hair so we will have that video coming and also guys i am so sick i'm very very sick runny nose all of that so i'm trying my hardest to disguise it and not sound so icky but um i'm still plucking i'm just going along from that base that i started at okay like when cutting your hair you have a base that you follow and go by I am actually going by that first part that I had even plucked, okay? So, the first exact part that I touched, everything has to match up to that, okay? No ball spots, no none of that. We're not going to over-pluck, okay? We do want it to look as thin as possible. And some people don't like all that pluckage, you know? That right there will be good enough just to keep it moving and keep it going, me personally i still see the fine line so i'm attacking all of that so you guys just stay tuned and watch exactly how i am doing this because it's really not a hard thing to do it's just very tedious like and that one section i got all that hair okay and when you wet it guys it helps you to actually see what you're doing like make sure you're not over plucking okay i don't even use wet it anymore just to pluck it uh, I wet it just to see my progress. You see, I still had that defined line there. So I have to go in and match that with the section before it. Okay, so it's just all about staying consistent, guys. So just stay tuned and see how I get these lines up out of here because they can make or break your frontal.
That closure sure look like it's somebody's real head, don't it? That thing look good. But as you can see, guys, that front part closer down where the baby hairs is, I pretty much got that thinned out, okay? All that hair came from that little spacage, okay? So that means you did some, you went in and did some, some damage, and that's good. So I'm gonna wet it down, and I'm gonna see my progress was actually going on, okay? That water tells the truth. It doesn't lie. I do not have to touch the front of the frontal, okay? I can go a step back now because I got the front thinned out, okay? You could even leave it here, guys. I'm just pretty extra. I said I wanted to go in on this thing. So I want to show you guys how to be extra. Um, if you're not extra, then you can stop right here. But I'm going to go behind that. That looks pretty good. I don't even think I need to. <laughs> I think I'm pretty much done, guys. I just would probably play around, comb through it here and there just to see if there's anything that I didn't catch right there. I didn't catch it, so I caught it now. So um, you could take your hand, guys, like you're doing yourself a ponytail and hold that hair back like that and just see what you're doing versus combing it out. Okay, because we pretty much combed it. We know what it's hitting for. We just need to see where we missed a spot or anything. So, um, that looks good to me. I don't see really any defined lines. Okay, just go in and pluck those small sections. Okay, if I see that it's something that needs to be fixed, I'm going to go in and do that. But for the most part, I'm just touching up. Okay, I'm pretty much done with this. Just touch your frontal up, make sure it's cool. Keep combing at it, combing left, combing right, then combing back again. That way you'll have a clear eye of it and say, oh, okay, I see this. I didn't see this before, but it just kind of helps, you know. So that frontal is ready, set, go, guys. If you have any questions, please, please leave a comment below because I don't feel like I did my best with this voiceover, and I don't feel like I broke it down. I know you honeys know that I breaks it down now. But I hope that it was self-explanatory or whatever. Uh, I'm trying to think of some questions that people may ask. Like, um, because it is sped up. But you would just go in, boom, grab the hairs that you want to pluck, okay? And yank it out, pretty much, okay? Once you get the hang of it, guys, you will go faster and just yank, 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 yank. You will be able to do that, but... Just starting off, you wouldn't need to. You would just go in and yank, yank, take your time, okay, till you get a rhythm. Once you get a rhythm, then you'll be gone. Going, going, gone, okay? So the thinner the hairline, guys, okay, the more wood lacy it will be. So that's why I just really focused on that hairline, getting it thinned out. Because once you install this and then you pour out them baby hairs, it's going to look like a wood lace demonstration. When you cut that lace off, cut it exactly where the hairs stop. Okay, don't leave any extra lace down on it or anything. You cut it off right at the hairs, where the hairs start at. And you got it thinned out because you plucked it super good. That's the automatic wood lace, okay? So y'all know. I've been diving in with this stuff, so I'm just kind of seeing the difference from certain ways or whatever, and this is pretty much what I came up with. So, pluck and pluck and pluck until the guys, really that hairline, okay, but any defined lines behind it would just help it to, you know, be a more wood lace demonstration. You don't want any defined lines because when you go to part out those baby hairs, you know, you still want it to look like it's gradually fading, okay? So, that's pretty much... The goal here is to fade, fade, fade with the baby hairs out and everything. And this is the hair. That was a 20-inch closure, guys. So um, they sent three bundles, two 24s and 122. We will get into that on the next video. But this is just more so the pluckage and making our 6 by 6 closure look as natural as possible. So, guys, stay tuned for part two of that what lace install. And I will see you guys on the next one. Uh, 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 the next one. Uh, 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 uh. Bye, guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for the support. And I will see you on our part two.